What's up guys, my name is Mark Steiner and welcome back to the first video of the new year. Today we are going to be talking about my minimalist everyday carry 2022. Let's get right into it. First things first, the backpack. This is the Moment Travel Wear 17 liter backpack. One of the reasons why I originally picked this up is because I didn't want to be lugging my big 30 liter peak design backpack everywhere I went. And one of the main selling points of this bag for me was that it could house up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It features a dedicated laptop and tablet sleeve, which I absolutely love. And the back is very rigid. So you know that you're not actually bending your laptop, which was very important to me. On top of that, it's just your pretty standard backpack, but elevated, higher quality materials, YKK zippers, nice pockets here and there, keychain holders, and a water bottle pocket that holds something a lot bigger than you anticipate that it can. And fun little fact about this backpack, the material it's made of is actually water resistant, so you don't need to worry when you get caught out in the rain that any of your contents are getting wet, so it's actually a very nice perk that you can have peace of mind with everything in your backpack never getting wet. But before we get into the contents of the backpack, let's get into the contents of my right pocket, which would be the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is my everyday carry since I got it since day one of its launching, and I absolutely love this device. It was a much needed upgrade for me. I had upgraded from the iPhone 10, so I loved that, and I was coming from an iPhone 6 Plus before I got the iPhone 10, so I really missed that big, big phablet phone factor, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max is perfect. Not only is it practically a one-handed tablet, but it's an absolute workhorse powerhouse. Like this thing is incredible. The cameras are absolutely amazing. I've captured some incredible photos that I'm mind blown that you're able to capture on the iPhone. This thing is just great. I just love the screen real estate. I love the heft and it's being protected by the Apple silicone case. I originally picked this up because it was so new there weren't any real cases for the iPhone 13 Pro Max at launch but I actually fell in love with this. This thing has been going strong. It's been a couple months now and it has protected the crap out of this thing. And uh, I've bumped it on quite a few edges and it is holding up wonderfully. The only real wear and tear you're really seeing is probably some oil patterns from my hands. But if you use some alcohol, you can clean that up real quick. It is holding up wonderfully. The next thing I literally have on me 24 seven and that is the Apple Watch Series 6. This thing has been absolutely amazing. I originally picked this up because I was like, you know what? Treat yourself. And it turns out to be a quintessential device that I absolutely love. And even though I viewed it as a very complimentary device that was not necessary, I absolutely love this thing. I can track my workouts, I can listen to music on it, I get all my notifications, I can do timers, I can ask Siri things. It's just such a convenient piece of technology that makes my life so much easier and I absolutely love it. It's just so convenient and I, now I can't picture life without it. I will be getting one in the future when this one dies. This is just great. I decided not to upgrade to the 7 because honestly, the bigger screen didn't really entice me and they didn't really do that much. But that Apple Watch Series 8 do be looking nice. So we'll see about that in the near future. All right, opening up the backpack and the first thing we have is the Amazon Kindle. I absolutely love this thing. So when I'm on the go, I'm taking public transportation, I can just read something real quick. And it's absolutely wonderful that I'm not wasting my time on the day. I can just read something that I actually enjoy, either motivational or fantasy, which is usually what I'm reading. I read Dune before the movie came out. That was absolutely wonderful. And I've been currently reading stories from The Witcher, which is, you know, I enjoy that as well. <laughs> the next thing I keep in my backpack is the Fuji XE4. I absolutely love this little camera. I've had mixed feelings about it for many reasons, and that'll be a different video altogether. But this thing is absolutely wonderful. I bring it with me everywhere. I take photos of my friends. I take candid photos. I do street photography with it. I do landscape photography with it. It's just a tiny little powerhouse. And I love this thing because no one takes it seriously. And using this as a second camera when I hang out with friends, I just hand it off to them and they love it. So we can have a little fun camera hangout. This thing has been so great and I've been able to capture a ton of photos that I would have otherwise not have captured. Yes, the iPhone has a great camera, but there's, there's something about having a dedicated camera on you at all times. And this little guy does a wonderful thing. I have it with the 27 mil f 2.8 lens on here. This is the kit that it came with. And I really like this because it feels kind of like a point and shoot but it's way more powerful than a point and shoot and it's absolutely wonderful. 
And then because I'm taking all those photos on my Fuji X-T4, I do bring a card reader with me at all times just so I can offload the photos or edit them if I so wish. Now you might be asking, what am I editing them on? And this is probably the biggest part of my everyday carry and that is the brand new iPad mini 6. This thing got a complete redesign and I absolutely love this thing. This thing has replaced my 16 inch laptop for going out. I no longer need a dedicated computer to do most of the tasks that I'm doing. I kind of just keep that at home and use it as a mobile desktop. So when I need the power, I have it. But when I'm out and about on the go using a very minimalist everyday carry, this is what I bring with me because it's more than powerful enough to do everything. The screen size is perfect. It feels kind of like a handbook, a little diary, which is wonderful. It's light. So even if I don't end up using it at all during the day, it's not like it's taking up that much space or it's that heavy in my backpack. So I have no like qualms about bringing this in my bag because it always has a place in my everyday setup. And because I'm shooting so many photos on my Fuji X-T4, I can just plug in my USB-C card reader and start editing on Lightroom Mobile. And honestly, this has been a wonderful treat for me because sometimes I get too deep into editing photos on desktop with Photoshop and Lightroom and all the nitty gritty. And sometimes I just wanna go back to when it was just easy. You kind of just mess with some colors, you get a pretty photo, you call it a day. So that's been kind of like streamlining, simplifying my outdoor workflow when I'm out and about for non-professional photos and just kind of enjoying photography when I'm out and about. And that's the iPad mini is perfect for that. The next piece of technology that stays in my backpack is a set of over ear headphones. And these are the Sony XM4s. I've ranted and raved about this so many times on the channel. I absolutely love these headphones. They're so great. I love that you can fold them up. I love that they're light and comfortable. You can keep them around your neck and you don't get tired. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. The noise canceling is absolutely amazing. I just love these set of headphones. And the battery life for me is wonderful. 30 hours of battery life, absolutely insane. So you can rely on these even if at their like 10% charge, but you, because you'll probably get through the end of the day with a 10% charge. I'll occasionally interchange these with the AirPods Max since I have both, but these are the ones I tend to bring with me just because of the smaller form factor, the fact that they're lighter, and the fact that they take up less space in my backpack and don't require a case to actually house. I can just throw these in my bag and and I can rely on them and they're great. The next thing I keep in my backpack would be the AirPods 3. These things are very convenient, very easy, and even though I am bringing a set of dedicated headphones with me, it's nice to have something smaller and more portable in case the situation calls for it, or like if we're watching something on an iPad mini with a fellow friend at a coffee shop, I can just hook these up and we can both listen to the same thing with wireless headphones, which is absolutely amazing. So I do love that Apple ecosystem that I can attach multiple Bluetooth headphones to my iPad mini if I have a friend with me. So you no longer need to share earphones like back in the day. Plus, you know, in certain circumstances, you don't necessarily wanna be the guy with headphones. So these are a little bit more incognito. And then last but not least, my wallet. This is a Victoria Knox wallet. I don't even know if they sell this one anymore because I got it like eight years ago, but this thing is absolutely wonderful and amazing amazing and so high quality. I used to be a very big wallet guy back in the day. I was always searching for the perfect wallet, bifold, trifold, all the little everything. I was testing out every wallet because I wanted that perfect wallet. I don't know why I was so obsessed with it, but I was gifted this on like my 16th birthday and I've never looked back since. It's a bifold wallet. It's absolutely beautiful, pure leather. It's patinaed over the years and it still looks great. Like, oh, this wallet features seven card holding slots, which is more than enough for me, but you can also put stuff behind those slots, which is where I usually keep my business cards. In the money section, it has a nice bifold and it's divided. So if you want to put Put big bills and little bills. I currently have it for foreign currencies and current currencies when I'm traveling, which I really, really like. So it helps me divide my cash up without me having to worry about that stuff. Overall, just a wonderful wallet that's going to last you literally a lifetime because it's such high quality and I absolutely love that. So that's my everyday carry. I would love to know what you guys think and what you're carrying in your everyday carry. I always have a checklist before I leave the house. Phone, wallet, keys, mask, headphones. And I'd love to know if you guys also have that little process in your head before you leave the house as well. But let me know if there's something you think I should add. I would love to hear what your everyday carry is in the comments down below. My name is Mark Steiner, and I'll see you next time.